Welcome to finding the settings on your digital SLR camera with capturing true emotion. My name is Val Westover and we're going to locate the settings on the Canon 7D. These are the settings I feel that are important to know if you want to start having more control over your exposure. Your camera modes, your ISO, aperture, shutter speed, metering mode, white balance, focus mode, autofocus point selection, drive mode, histogram, exposure compensation, and flash exposure compensation. To find the camera modes on the 7D, you would just rotate your mode dial. If you select program mode, shutter priority, aperture priority, or manual mode, you'll now be able to have more control over your exposure. To locate your ISO, it's very simple. Just push your ISO button. It says ISO. Push the button and turn your main dial. You'll see your ISO in your monitor right here. To change your aperture, when you're in program mode or aperture priority, you would change your aperture by turning your main dial. When you're in manual mode, you would turn this dial to change your aperture. Regardless, whatever mode you're in, whether it's manual mode, turn in this wheel, or whether it's in program mode or aperture priority, turn in your main dial, your aperture will present itself right here. The F number will present itself right here. Right now it says zero, zero because there's not a lens on the camera. If there was a lens on the camera, you would see the F number. It might read 4.5, it might read 5.6, or so on. Your shutter speed, all you have to do is just turn one dial for your shutter speed. So it doesn't matter whether you're in shutter priority or manual mode, you would use this main dial to change your shutter speed. To locate and manipulate your metering mode, you would push your metering mode button right here. That's the picture right underneath it. It looks like an eyeball. Push that button right there. Then you would change your main dial to select metering mode that you want. Once you've selected your metering mode, it'll present itself right here in your LCD monitor. Your white balance. This is your white balance button. It's the same button that you use to change your metering mode. That button right there. And then move the dial on the back of the camera or your wheel. Once you do that, you'll be able to see in your LCD monitor right up here your white balance that you've selected. You can select any one of these right here and it'll present itself right in the middle of your LCD monitor. Your autofocus mode. To select one of three autofocus modes, you would push your AF button. It says AF, push that button and then turn your dial. Focus mode, it'll, you would then be able to shoot in one shot, AI servo or AI focus. Your autofocus area mode, to select your specific autofocus area mode, you would first push your autofocus button right here. The symbol looks like a little checkered board. Push this button right here. Once you push that button, and if you want to select a, a specific autofocus area mode, or excuse me, an autofocus area, you would push your main function button here to toggle through any one of these right here. 
So again, you would push your autofocus area button, then you would push your main function button to select either spot, single point, your point expansion, a zone, or 19 point. If you select spot or single point, now you can move your autofocus point selection anywhere you want. To the left, to the right, the top, the bottom, or you can autofocus right in the middle, right in the center. And to do that, again, you would push your autofocus area button here, then you would toggle your main dial to reposition your spot or your single point. Your drive mode. There's your drive button right there. Push that button. Once you push the drive button, then you would rotate the wheel and you could select whatever drive that you wanted to shoot in. Single, high speed, low speed, or a self timer. Your histogram. To locate your histogram, you'll first pull up an image. Once you see an image that you've taken on your monitor, then hit your info button. Hit your, every time you hit your info button, it'll give you more information about your image until eventually it'll go back to showing you just the full image. If you want to see your histogram, that would look like a graph with up and down mountains and valleys. Exposure compensation. When you're in program mode, shutter priority or aperture priority, one of these three modes right here, the camera is in charge of giving you a correct exposure. If you want to override that one way or the other and intentionally over or underexpose your exposure, then you would turn this dial right here. As long as the dial is not locked, then you'll be able to turn the dial. Right now, as you can see, the dial is locked, so it would have to be moved to the left, so it's unlocked. Once you turn this dial, when you're in program mode, shutter priority or aperture priority, you can see your exposure level indicator right here, and you can intentionally overexpose or underexpose your image. Your flash exposure compensation button. Again, you're going to use the same exposure level indicator right here. You would first push the button right here, your flash exposure compensation button. It's the same button you use to change your ISO. But what you'll do now is push this button and then turn the dial. Once you turn the dial, you're now going to be changing the brightness level of your flash. Whether you want to intentionally power your flash up, or power your flash down. Auto exposure lock. When you're in program mode, shutter priority or aperture priority, and if you want to lock that exposure in, remember when you're in manual mode, you select an ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. That said, those settings won't change on you. However, when you're in aperture priority, shutter priority, or program mode, those settings will constantly change on you depending on what direction you're, you're pointing your camera at, even if your finger is pushed halfway down on your camera. So if you want to lock your exposure in so that set those settings don't change, it's the symbol right here. It looks like a star. You push that button right there. Once you push this button, you will lock your exposure in. In fact, you will see this little star symbol lit up in your viewfinder off to the left. If you see that symbol, that little star lit up in your viewfinder, that means your camera has locked that exposure in for you. I want to thank you for watching this video on how to find the settings on your camera. If you want to know more about how to shoot like a pro in any mode of your camera, Check out our photography courses at www.CapturingTrueEmotion.com And remember, your beautiful Canon 7D plus the Exposure Pro app equals perfect exposures. Thank you.